My name is Jimmy Tran. I am the founder and owner of Misei Goods. Uh, we are an online retail shop. Uh, we sell home decor and personal wellness items. Our big focus with that is that we sell and work with brands that are LGBTQ owned or operated and as well as allies within the community. My parents were immigrants to the U.S. Um, from Vietnam and so we are the first generation to be here and kind of making our own strides and, and kind of creating our own path here. The reason why I wanted to start this business was because uh, just within this whole pandemic in this time, I got furloughed from work and I worked for a, a corporate entertainment company. And unfortunately, uh, they didn't have any work for me, but they are still keeping me on. Um, at this point, I needed to figure out what I needed to do to just kind of survive. Misa Goods was actually something that I had been thinking about for a long time now, and I just had the gift of time to be able to work on it and to be able to make it come to life. The big thing with me in this whole project was I wanted to offer merchandise from LGBTQ brands um, that were not necessarily pride merchandise. I think there's a there's a stigma behind having brands and things like that in the in the queer community that are only geared towards rainbows and, and just pride merchandise. And I wanted to kind of break that stigma because I feel like um, the LGBTQ community has a resource of makers and, and brands that do more than just that. And they do really great work and I wanted to be able to have this retail space to showcase that. The reason why I chose the, the online retail space was because during this pandemic, I wanted to be able to, to have something out there, but since actual storefronts and physical places were closed, uh, the best idea or the best route was for me to be able to open an online retail store and have it accessible to not just people here locally, but to everybody domestically in the U.S. Um, and so this is now my home office and uh, this is where this is all started from. So early on in the pandemic, I had a lot of time to figure out exactly what I was going to do. Um, and I had flushed a lot of things out, but there were still a lot of questions that I needed answered and I needed to have um, guidance with. So I reached out to the Alliance SBDC and the Asian Business Association to help facilitate this entire process, um, to answer the questions that I had and to help just to make sure that I was creating this business the correct way um, and doing everything right. When I got in touch with the Asian Business Association, um, I had a lot of questions about how to set up an LLC, um, what was the process with that, business licensing, uh, and then basically how to create everything and doing that at home. Um, they were able to send me links online via email and everything was great because it was a step-by-step -step process that was given to me. It was do this and then you can do this and then once you have this done, um, then you can apply for this. So it was really easy to follow that process and any challenges or any questions that I had, I was able to just email them right back um, and get those answers pretty much right away. If you ever have a question or are, are on the fence about reaching out to any SBDC or the Asian Business Association, I would just say, don't hesitate. I mean, there isn't anywhere you can go wrong um, with it. They're only gonna offer you uh, assistance. And if it's something that's super complicated, I'm sure they could find the resources for you to be able to make sure that you are successful in what you wanna do in your business. There really shouldn't be any hesitation, but it's just because they're going to be here to help you in any capacity they can.